Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, here we are in our sea moth, down about 108 meters, currently smacking into every poor little sea creature that gets in my way, because why not? Now, if you remember, we're in the middle of hunting for the engine for the Cyclops. So, now after searching for it for quite a bit, um, there wasn't really a lot of luck last episode, and I kind of a little distracted here because of those big things and the noises they're making. I'm kind of on high alert right now. Way too much caffeine in the system. So, I don't exactly think that I'm looking in the right spot for the Cyclops engine. Because I did find the fragment in the mushroom area, but I'm not sure if that's actually the best place to be looking for it. And... For some reason, I want to say, after kind of thinking about it, that on my first save that I did in Subnautica, I don't know if I actually found all the parts in the mushroom forest or not. Because I do remember having trouble finding the Cyclops engine last time as well. And I actually think that, no, that was the prawn suit, never mind. The prawn suit was the one that I, um, found the remaining pieces for in the, uh, Aurora area. Although I wonder if the same goes for the Cyclops, where all the extra parts are there as well. But it's not the wisest idea for me to go down there because of the guarding Reaper. So... In the meantime, though, I was kind of thinking of heading down this uh, crevice here into the fun, glowy mushroom pit. Because why not, right? Maybe not. So... I guess that's going to have to wait. Let's just go down here real fast and see what kind of cool stuff is down here. Sea crown, huh? Hmm. I feel like I'm being hunted. This doesn't have any power. So... That is a problem. Let's, uh, let's head back and... Oops. Oops. I'm sorry. Not really. We're gonna head back and get a rebreather, finally, because... I am tired of running out of air extremely fast while exploring the depths. So, here we go, backtracking. It's going to be really nice to have a Cyclops, because I'll never have to return home until I want to get Seamoth or Seapron upgrades. So, because last save that I did, as soon as I got the... Um, the Cyclops, I just started outfitting it with a bunch of um, fun stuff on the inside, so I never had to return. Um, I don't know why I came back up here, considering that we have pretty much uh, converted the other place into being a good at home. Oh, shoot, rolling cannon.
wiring kit and fiber mesh. So I need two wiring kits, fiber mesh and a battery. And that should be all. So we're going to go and we're going to get some creep vine to turn into fiber mesh. So that'll be fun. There we go. That should be good enough. I really need to go to the mono pool and uh, refill my batteries so that way I can get my shut up, my uh, sea glide back to power. Um, right. I need to do. Uh, that. Um, I'm pretty sure these creep vine samples decay, so I don't know if it's best to store it, but let's find out. Uh, let's grab these batteries now. Um, and we're gonna do some switcheroo work now. Okay. Let's drop these batteries on the charger, so that way we won't run out later. Um, we're going to also quickly get some food, because I'm about to starve. This knife really has come in handy. Probably one of the best, uh, best finds so far, no matter what. Just because I don't have to have the modification station yet, but I can easily get cooked food. Ah, <sighs> so. There is quite a bit of, uh, yeah, I definitely need to, uh, yeah, I, I realize now that I got the scanner room HUD chip from that one of those time capsules while thinking about back to it, so. I also got the blueprints for a new, oh, it's a modification, I need the modification station, like, really bad. Let's see, do we have access to it yet? I don't think so. No, I need probably one more blueprint until I do. Um, all right, we need a wiring kit so we can make the propulsion gun. So let's grab all the silver that we can, which appears to be basically none. That's great. We got one silver. So, let's see, what's more important, propulsion gun or rib breather? Well, oh wait, yeah, the wiring kit needs two silver. Okay, so we can't have either. Okay. So... Looks like we're going to have to go back on the hunt for some more silver. Let's listen to those relaxing sounds. Sadly, there are not a lot of good areas that are super nearby to get silver from, so I need to kind of branch my search range a little bit and head to one of those reefs before I uh, can successfully find some good stuff. Ooh, what's down here? Oh. Okay, that's... I got stung by one.
Yeah, not so tough now, huh? Probably a lot less fun when the prey fights back, am I right? Use repair tool. Let's see, is there anything good? We got a sea light fragment, but we don't need that. And a beacon fragment. Let's see if we can, uh... Cool. Anything cool down here? Grab trap fragment. Um, I think that's all we got for uh, fun stuff in this area. So, let's keep going. I always kind of feel bad when I hit fish with this thing because it's like they're just swimming along and this big metal dome just like plows into them. I mean, that probably doesn't feel too good. See, that, that sounds like it hurts. You know, how do those things make those noises when they don't have opposable mouths? Like... No mouths. No way for them to roar. Well, they do have those giant orifices, so... Who knows? Nope, that's uh, limestone and not sandstone. We need to find sandstone cloud. It's like right here. There's one silver. Uh, we need two more now. That's not helping, but thank you. Okay, next one will be silver. Then we need to get gold, lead, the next one will be silver. Of course there's a new radio signal for me to go listen to. Thankfully the uh, spooky one is now over, so the next one should be relatively tame. Should probably start heading back because I'm a pretty good distance away from the sea, from the sea moth. So, it's not too wise for me to stay super far away from my, uh, vessel. Alright, just gotta find one more silver. Yeah, it'll be really nice to have a scanner room to just drop in this area and um, start scanning. What I used to do is I would fill um, my prawn suit's storage with all of the necessary materials to build uh, the scanner room, and then I would just, you know setup station when I would need to and um, build a scanner room in the area 
search for stuff, collected what I needed to, and then moved on. And I would just kind of do that in a lot of the areas when I needed to find rare resources or crashes, crash areas or hunting for certain life pods that don't give you the direct coordinates, you know, stuff like that. So, let's go park this thing in the mono pool. Stop laughing at me, please. Um, let's go craft a wiring kit. There we go. I don't know what that noise was, but it just happened. And propulsion cannon. One of my favorite things in the entire game is basically the gravity gun from a uh, Half-Life. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I really wish I had um, the mono pool station for uh, editing things, but maybe I'll be able to sneak on board the Aurora and uh, get all the blueprints and whatnot. That'd be kind of cool if I could do that. That's not too bad of an idea. I mean, I could probably make it in and out of there pretty easily. Although I have way too much titanium, that's for sure. So I'm gonna convert as much of that as I possibly can to titanium ingots. That way, I can use it later, because boy, am I going to need to use it later. And... I should be a pretty, uh, pretty solid storage there. I might want to pull out more, let more uh, titanium and build another locker. But I need more water for sure, so I need a bleach and table coral so I need you know well it's not bleach and table coral but I need salt and table coral which I have plenty of salt but I need you know a coral tube which I know there's one nearby so I just gotta find it in the dark Alright, there we go. Thankfully, I pretty much don't need to worry about ever packing food, because I'll always be able to find a food source no matter what with this knife. So... But water is a very different story. Can you make up your mind, or no? Apparently not. Um, this has been great, I guess. There we go. Let's make lots of bleach. So I can, uh... Finally, drink some. This is such a fun experience.
Wow. I'm gonna have a lot of uh, water by the end of this. I don't think I need that much. So we're gonna go and we're gonna pull out some titanium here. And we're gonna build a locker. And uh, fill it with fun chemicals. That make the party much better. I should do the trick. So. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and drink one of those. And let's go hunting. Because we really need more food. So. I wish I could just like, you know, get all of these guys and just have them all because there's so many of them. I'll be taking that. You too, buddy. I know what you saw. Come back here. Alright. There we go. Plenty of food. I wonder if I would be able to sneak over onto the Aurora and uh, sneak past the, um, the, uh, the big, uh, Reaper. Because the reaper is, um, there's like a little reaper that kind of swims in the area and guards it. So you can't exactly, um, just kind of walk in there whenever you feel like it. Okay, apparently I can't repair the sea moth when it's, up. Oh, there we go. Perfect. All right. So, I'm not entirely sure where the best, uh, what the best path would be, but with that rebreather, I might be able to find one of the caves to the mushroom biome area and start taking a peek around, so, or go off this cliff over here and uh, start exploring the absolute unknown. Which is always fun. Let me check where I am real fast. Let's see, we have... Uh-oh. We don't want to go this direction. And I know that for a fact. Because that is some danger zone right there. Hmm. Hmm. Doesn't look like there's any openings. Is that sea junk or is that that's a sea moth fragment? Okay. Oh, okay. This came out of nowhere. Maybe we'll find the Cyclops engine finally. Um, it's probably going to be lower on the threshold of um, 200 meters here. So we're going to put on the rebreather and start exploring, I guess. This area should be safe. There is a, a lot of wildlife around here. So, not a bull fragment. Cool. Um, hmm. Cyclops whole fragment. Cyclops whole fragment. Uh, 
cool cave system that leads to an alien base if I remember correctly yep okay so I know where we are now um hmm If only it was, like, you know, easier to find the engine pieces. I'm probably looking in the wrong area. Because something tells me that I would have found it by now. If it was actually in this area. So I might just have to explore other biomes and uh, hope for the best. Yeah, as if that wasn't unholy at all. Hmm. Whoa. Why are there crabs in this area? My, uh, small monkey brain is telling me that's a bad area to go to. Okay, I need to head back to the sea moth before I drown. So, part of me really wants to Google the goggle, Google, Google the location of um, where to find the Cyclops engine, but. You know, I've done it once before without doing go the Googles, but so I think I should be able to do it twice without using the Googles. If only I could remember. Wow, I'm gonna die. Don't tell me what to do. Five, four, three, two. Oh, that was a close one. Okay. You know, I legitimately could have swam to the surface in the same amount of time that it would have taken me to get the Cyclops to the uh, Sea Moth. So, that was a little foolish of me. I mean, it's got to be around here somewhere, right? Because, like, we, we, we've already found one piece of the engine fragment. And that had to have been within the mushroom forest, or else I would have taken note of it being somewhere odd. I might need to go back and uh, watch the uh, previous episodes and see... Yeah, monkey brain does not want me to go in that direction. I just did it again. Yes, I'm aware. Interesting. Okay, I'm going to play with the propulsion gun. Ooh, I got something. 
What I get? I want this. Give it. How dare you? I want this. Actually, no, I don't. <laughs> Give me. Um. Oh wait, does this mean that I can... Why well, can't I can really ink? I can like pull them towards me, incapacitate them, and then go in for the kill. If I can find his body, of course. Corpse, ha. Huh. Get it? Because he's dead? Corpse. Ah, you've got to be kidding me. You know, I don't think that I'm going to be finding the Cyclops engine in this mushroom forest for some reason. I just don't. I think I might need to expand my search or just kind of go play a different area of the game for a little bit before I... Or I should, like, maybe go find the rest of the scanner room fragments or something like that. Silence. Okay. Ow. So let's just head back up, I guess, and, um... Hmm. Go explore some more fun areas. Why not? I mean... I keep hitting things and I feel really bad about it. But at the same time, I just don't. So. More dead things, yay. Whoa, buddy, are you okay? Kind of just lost it there. Jeez. Calm down before you hurt yourself. I want to find one of those openings that lead to the, uh, the mushroom biome. Like the, not the, uh, the mushroom tree biome, but like the, the underwater mushroom biome with the creepy eel things. You know, more fun stuff. More dead stuff. I want to say that it's not quite at 100 meters, that it is around the 70 meter range is where the first opening is. So... Don't worry, I'm leaving. I recognize my mistake, don't worry. <sighs> Did I just get hit by my own Seamoth? Huh. Is that some sort of, like, poetic justice? Doesn't seem like it, nope. Just a fun little tunnel. Oh, but here we go. This seems promising. You know, if I could just like see, that'd be great.
I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here. Probably just go straight up, I guess. Huh. That was disappointing. Um. Hmm. Is it a different reef that has all the cave biome entry entryways down there? Because I remember, like, when you first enter one of these reefs, it's like, are you sure you want to go down here? Scans say that there's X, X, and X this direction. Would you like to reevaluate your course? I think it has a different one. I think it's, like, roughly this way. So... Let's go find out. There's some weird lights coming from over there. It's probably the mono pool. Uh oh, I just unplugged my headphones. Hold on, give me a second. There we go. Oh, I'm being chased by something. Huh. Hmm. Here we go. I think this is where I, the area I was talking about. Whoa. Maybe not. There we go. So, radiation is a huge problem by the looks of it. Um, that means that the rebreather probably won't be super usable in this area in particular. Uh, maybe we'll be lucky and find, oh, what's that down there? Let's see, a big bioreactor fragment. We already got all the fragments for that, so we're good. Um, wow, that uh, that hit a little extra harder than usual. Let's try a different mushroom forest because maybe we're just, you know, already found the good stuff from one of the other ones. So, you know, maybe we'll get lucky here and find engine parts. This one seems promising. Familiar, though, for some reason. Something doesn't seem right. Something's not right. I need more light. So far, no luck when it comes to finding some more Cyclops parts. Maybe over here? Nope. This is not the direction I want to be going. Because by the sounds of it, there's a Reaper that, that way.
So I gotta be a little more careful. Cause let's not make Mr. Reaper super mad. Wait, where where are we? First off. Like, how, like where are we in proximity to the Aurora? All right. So we can actually kind of see right now. So maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to find some engine parts. <sighs> oh boy. Oh, a shocky boy. And a big roar boy. That spooked me. get a screenshot so let's go provoke this thing can I grab it with the propulsion gun probably not okay you're a star a big old star Eyes on the camera, buddy. There we go. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Good job. Okay. And now, for your reward. Let's see. Come here. I'm not done with you yet, buddy. Where'd he go? There you are. Take that. Okay, he took it and he's not very happy with me. Okay, so... That was a... Non-successful episode. And to avoid wasting the time in future episodes... I might have to submit and actually... Use the Google. So... Great. Because I am not really getting anywhere. And... I wish I was, but... I'm not. Because... It is, like, impossible to find... Engine fragments. There's a Reaper over there. I get the feeling all the engine fragments are over here. So... I'm gonna make this real quick here. Real quick. And just do a very quick kind of look through. Seems like everything's in order. Um, I don't really see any point of me uh, staying too close to that thing. But 
because this was actually the area that um I uh wow I keep like running into stuff How close is he? Pretty close. Okay. So, I'll make it quick. Ah, Cyclops whole fragment. Okay, not worth it. Okay, I've got to be looking in the wrong areas, so... I'm going to probably scan back to one of my older videos and see where I found the first engine fragment at and uh, go back to that area and look so in the meantime though I wanted to thank you for watching this video there is no way that you made it this far but if you did thank you I really appreciate the fact that you took the time to uh, watch me babble along and keep searching for this stupid engine so yeah uh, anyways, I'm trying to get to an area where I won't die. Watch as, like, I stumble upon the engine as I'm trying to get to a safe spot. But, anyways, thank you for watching, and, uh, if you enjoyed this video in particular, or if you're, you know, whatever, I, uh, just wanted to say thank you. Uh, leave a like, maybe even comment. If you're asleep, you know, so be it. Works for me either way. But anyways, you know, thank you for watching. I'm uh, I'm glad that you took the time to, uh, you know, stop by and whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna stop stalling and stop hunting because this is a bad habit of mine for stuff like this. Because I just want to like keep hunting and keep looking because I just want to get it done with and I don't want to stop it. So, but I have to or else I run out of disk space, so I don't have a choice. All right, well, thank you for watching, um, and have a fantastic night.